Hi, I wanted to share with you a little uh, trick I found for making cheap diffusers for flashlights. Here I have two identical flashlights. Uh, they're both Zebralight SC52s and um, other than tint they're exactly the same. What I did was I created a diffuser for one of the Zebralights and left the other one plain. And I'll show you the effect in a minute, but I'll just show you how I did it. I went into an old laptop and after recycling the 18650 batteries out of it, I thought, let's take a look inside the screen and see what it has in it. Because it's supposed to have some nice diffusers in it. And so I basically hacked off the uh, case cover and went into the screen and I didn't do a very good job of it. As you see, this was the uh, clear glass over top. Then you have a piece of polarizing film. Then you have a piece of diffuser film. Then you have another piece of polarizer. And then finally you have some kind of reflective uh, backing to it. And so what happens with the laptops is they have a bunch of LEDs in them. And the LEDs have to spread the light out evenly over the entire screen. So you have this diffuser film, which is very efficient at, at diffusing the light and also allowing light through it. Uh, because it has to be, because they're trying to develop a, a bright screen that is evenly lit. And the diffuser screen is, is kind of matte on one side and, uh, and clear on the other. I found the best way to diffuse a beam through it was to put them, have the beam go from the matte side through to the clear side. Um, and, and you can see it, it's, uh, this is the diffused light. <laughs> okay, so taking the undiffused light, you can see when it goes through the diffuser, it, it, it basically spreads all the light out. So what I did is I just cut out a little square of the film and then I basically just rounded it off and stuck it on to the flashlight here. And then I used a couple of pieces of tape to hold it on because it if I shook it really hard it would come off. You could do something better than this. Um, you could probably even use a little bit of adhesive on it or something like that if you wanted to stick it on more permanently. But this works pretty well. Um, it, it, I'll just kind of show you how it compares. If you look at the regular SC52 without a diffuser, it you know this is normally a kind of a floody light anyway, but it does have a noticeable hot spot. And when you compare it to the one with the diffuser, you can see it just spreads the whole light out. So you have basically it's it's almost like a uh, a bare LED in the way it spreads out light, but it's it's more even because it's coming from kind of a, a surface here, so it, you don't get any harsh shadows with it. And I really like the effect, um, so I think I'll probably just leave this one with the diffuser film on. Of course, it's it's really easy to take off, take off the tape, pop off the diffuser if you want back your normal light, but I thought that was really uh, a good way of getting a cheap diffuser for any flashlight that you can easily remove, and it, it's free. You know, if you have an old laptop, that you're just going to recycle. Just take the diffuser out. I could probably do about a hundred flashlights with this piece. And uh, there you go.